Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and I love Walnut Creek Bath Fatigue. So I've been thinking for quite a while that I'd really like to get into blending my own fragrances. I've always been very intimidated about that. I want to try though and I got a lot of fragrances in and I really got carried away. <laughs> I mean, I got a little carried away. One tray. That is another tray, not quite full. Guys, this isn't all of them. <laughs> this is not any fall or winter scents. This is all year long or spring scents that I'm looking at right now. Kind of crazy. Yes, kind of crazy. Um, but I will say that I did good as far as most of these are just one ounces. This, I'm trying to sit, guys. It's not working out for me with this bookcase right in front of my legs. <laughs> but, all right, so what I did, because I th have never done this before. I've not done, I, this is you and me together. Candle Science has blotters on their website, and I bought a couple of them. Um, they're fragrance blotter strips. And so basically what I did was I went on to Candle Science's website because... I mean, that's awesome. For one thing, every fragrance oil that I've seen has a, a blends well with. Um, and so it it kind of gets, gets you thinking about what blends well with what. And um, so I what I did was I bought a lot of the fragrances that uh, blends well with a lot of other fragrances. And I made myself notes. And since I am brand spanking new at this, I thought that would be a good place for me to start blending is just taking what they've already deemed as a good blend. Now I have a couple on here that are my own thoughts. So we're gonna do that as well, but there's just a couple and, and we'll just kind of see. All right, so let's get to blending some fragrances and I should have these alphabetized or something so I can find them. Actually, I may do that real quick because <laughs> it's going to take me forever to find them. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, yeah, organize them a little bit and then okay. we'll come back. <laughs> They're a little bit better now. I think I'm going to be able to find them all. So the first one on my list to try is Fresh Cut Grass in English Garden. Um, I've had English Garden before. It's a very floral scent, um, and I wasn't sure I liked it, but it sold actually fairly well. Uh, so I bought, I went ahead and bought a, yeah, a four ounce bottle of that. So here's my blotter strips. They do have red lines on them, so you can do a one to one or a two to one type of thing. I'm gonna write the names on here. Okay, and then I'm going to Per their recommendations, just bend that a little bit. I watched a, a live from 2019 from Candle Science. It's on their website and I'll try to link that. English Garden, I'm gonna go, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. One on that, lit it because I drop things and the last thing I'm gonna do is spill a bottle of fragrance oil in this room. This, is definitely fresh cut gas. I can't, ooh, that's like one and a half. I can't see this fresh cut grass on its own, but um, maybe with a blend, it's nice. Okay, so you just, you're supposed to let that soak for about 10 seconds or so, and then you waft it. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's great. It's fresh, it's it's like spring. It is spring. Oh my, and that's just a one-to-one. -one. Oops, I hit my nose. <laughs> I really, really like those two together. So I'm taking some notes. I'm really excited about that one, guys. I am, I, that's a good one. Okay. Um, let's find one that I really didn't like. <laughs> I did not like library. Or Veveter. Veveter or library. I did not like those. Let me grab those. Okay. 
So just on their own, this vet, vetiver, vetiver. Oh, I don't like that. Library. Let me try this again. You know, I'm going to have to take that back. Library is actually pretty good. Library is pretty good. But they're saying that Library, Vetiver, and Tonka and Oud are all good mixers. And I love Tonka and Oud, guys. So I'm going to get a blotter on all three of these and just play around with the three. While I'm waiting for those to kind of 10 second it out, um, I looked on my list and Library, or no, is it Library and Whiskey? Whiskey and Leather are, is another one that I didn't like either one. Let me just smell them again, though. Ugh, whiskey is horrible. I mean, what did I expect, right? Whiskey. Ugh. And what is it, leather? Do I have leather or no? I don't remember seeing leather. Maybe I didn't grab leather. Library and vetiver. Am I saying that right? I'm probably not. No. I can, no, that vetiver. I don't like it. Let's try library and tonka and nude. You know, I, I like tonka nude by itself better. I don't think the library adds anything to the tonka and oud personally. So I am going to make a note of that. Let's try library and whiskey. That seems very uh, man forward, right? Library and whiskey. Oh, that whiskey. <laughs> I suppose if you like the smell of whiskey, maybe. I mean, this is somebody that doesn't really drink alcohol that much, ever, hardly. I won't say ever, but yeah. Yeah. I can't do the whiskey. I'm glad I only bought an ounce. That's going over there. I'm done with whiskey. <laughs> I'm done with that one. Whew. Okay. What's next? All right. So, uh, sandalwood. I did buy a four ounce bottle of sandalwood because it, I mean, the list of fragrances that Candle Science says it pairs well with is humongous. So, I'm going to get all of those um, pulled and dipped. Wow, there are a lot. Um, so let's look at sandalwood and black coral and moss. Oh, I never used to like sandalwood and I recently said I don't like sandalwood. I think I like sandalwood. I really like that. I'm wondering. I'm, I'm going to go up in black coral and moss to, to the second line. Give that 10 seconds to soak and, you know, whatever the 10 seconds is for. <laughs> black coral moss is kind of... Um, so, it reminds me a little bit of Black Sea, which is my favorite. Favorite Black Sea. Okay. I like that too. I'm writing that down. Guys, I like that one. This is fun. I, I don't even know if I'm going to tape this, but this is fun. I'm taping it. I air it. I don't know. Whatever. Santal coconut. Santal and coconut. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. That's good. One on one. Santal and coconut and sandalwood. I like this. Hang on. Um, there's a lot for sandalwood. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. I don't know how to say that, guys. That's a very strong men's scent. I can see that being a really good soap if they're soap safe. P 
Palo Santo is, what is it, sandalwood? Sandalwood is too. I can see this being a really, really good men's fragrance in a soap. Grapefruit and mango stain. That seems a little different. That's okay. I I, I mean, I kind of like it. I, I don't want to like everything. <laughs> That's just silly. I'm easily pleased. I don't, you know, it, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, rose petals and sandalwood. I bet this smells good. Ooh. I like that too. Now before I do these, I'll probably redo this with a fresh nose and do a couple blotters, one with a like a two line, one with a, a one line, and then kind of pick the ones that I like, whether I like two to one rose or two to one poly, uh, sandalwood kind of thing. But that's a good combo. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm, I'm having hard, I'm gonna have a hard time smelling. I think I'm getting nose blind and I'm starting to get a headache. Okay. That means it's time to take a break because I'm really not smelling much of that right now. So taking a break, giving my nose a break. I'll bring you back in a little while when it's time to move on, but I'm really excited so far. This has been fun. Um, hopefully it's not too boring for you guys. <laughs> right. I have on the back counter a uh, English garden and uh, fresh cut grass, 50-50, sampling out, getting in my little, small little pot over here. And now I'm going to do the sandalwood and black coral and moss. I went ahead and did fresh uh, blotter strips. I don't know how long these are like good for, uh, but I did one and one and two on each of them. I have black coral moss with one per one and sandalwood in one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a whiff of this. I keep hitting my nose. <laughs> I really like it. That's really nice. Let's try sandalwood two with black coral one. I like that too. Let's try sandalwood one and black coral two. Two to one. I like that best. All right, so I'm gonna make a tester of this as well. All right, I had a lunch break and I've come right back down and I got right back at it. And I have been testing uh, a lot of the combinations that I, I uh, got off the Candle Science website. Um, so I'm, I've made about, I don't know, maybe eight wax melt tests on those uh, blends. Now I wanna just share with you fragrances I pulled off and I'm thinking, let's just see. Uh, <laughs> let's just see. Rose Jam from Micah's and More. It, it doesn't take much. I think it's a very overpowering scent. I'm, I'm already getting a headache. Um, and then Awaken from Nurture Soap, is it's a very sweet, lemony scent. Um, I just made a lemon curd from Nature's Garden. Lemon curd from Nature's Garden is really sweet, lemony scent. Um, this one is less sweet, but it's still sweet. So I thought, well, rose and lemon, and I don't know, we're gonna give her a go. So let's see what I, what I think on these two. While those are sitting out, my next combination is White Sage and Lavender from Candle Science and Aromatic Forest from Make Your Own. It's kind of hard to see those red lines when you're trying to dip them. Rose Jam and Awaken. Mm -mm. No. I think the problem is I'm not a huge fan of either one of these scents alone. And then to put them together, I don't think they really helped each other that much. Uh, Aromatic Forest and White Sage and Lavender. I'm giving myself a second here. I think something in that Rose Jam is giving me a headache. I like this. I 
like this. You know, the, the white sage and lavender, I don't know what is in here that is a bit, um, harsh, like, like, uh, like a biting scent. Um, I don't know if it's like the sage note. Um, but I think the aromatic forest really does a nice job of kind of toning that down. Give myself a second. I, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make a sample of that. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Okay. Let's do blue agave from nurture soap and Palo Santo. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong guys. And lastly, I was just going to do a lavender and a peppermint. That's not anything earth shattering. And then I'm going to do a library and just see if library goes with any of the scents I just pulled, just for fun. Palo, Palo, I don't know, Blue Agave. Oh. Oh. I like that one too. I like that one a lot. All right, testing on that one. And then lastly, the lavender and the peppermint. I mean, it's just your standard lavender mint. Nothing special. It smells good, but I mean, been there, done that. You know, I'm, I'm looking for something different. Um, let's do library and peppermint. I kind of like that one too. Yeah. Guys, it has been several weeks since I did all of those scent tests. And I wanted to just come on here really quickly and kind of finish this video up and give you some feedback on the scents I tested. I tested 11 different scents. 11. I get carried away. Have we have we established this? I get carried away. I really started thinking I am the worst wax melt maker in the world. I it was just one fail after another. I was getting so discouraged. So the fails were black coral and moss in the sandalwood combo. No. I gave it a one out of five. So I'm trying to do like the stars. One being barely there. Five being headache inducing. I'm a solid three girl. I like a three. <laughs> um, Spring Meadows was good. It had it had a scent. I gave it two stars. It had a decent scent, but it was a little too green. And I think I would I would try that with maybe a different um, floral and back off on the fresh grass because that one Spring Meadows is what I called um, fresh crack gap. Fresh Cut Grass in English Garden. Lavender Agave, which was lavender and um, citrus agave. I really liked the scent, guys. It was just great. Probably one of my favorite um, blends that I did, but I couldn't get it to work in wax. I, I'm think, I, I think I want to maybe try that in a soap, though, because I really, really like the scent. Another one that didn't work for me, but I really liked the scent was Palo Santo. Palo Santo, sorry, I have no idea how to say words. And their Nurture Soaps Blue Agave really liked that combination a lot, but not for wax. I couldn't, it didn't have any scent throw. I need it to, I want it to be at least a three, right, to sell. Um, the ones that did work, finally, you know, because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? None of these are working for me. Uh, I was I was getting really <laughs> discouraged. Uh, upstairs, I'm burning now. Santal and coconut blended with uh, sea salt and orchid. And I have the santal and coconut at a little higher percentage rate. I really like the scent. Um, I'm giving it a three out of five maybe closer to a two and a half. It, again, it could be a little bit stronger, but I don't know what's going on with me in these wax melts. I, it, you know, it is new, new wax and I don't know if something's going on there. Um, 
I, I, I just expected more successes out of 11. Less than half were a success. This one I really liked, and this is Library and Lavender, 50-50. Nope, 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 Library was a little higher. Um, I really, really liked the scent a lot, and I, I gave it a two and a half out of five. So again, it's just not quite where I want it to be strength-wise. Um, but I'm refusing to go over 10% in my, in my uh, fragrance oils. I, I am flat refusing to do that. Uh, I, I am not going to spend that kind of money and waste that kind of money on fragrance oils. I shouldn't have to. Most, all of my testers were like, if they made the cut at all, they made it at, a, at like that two and a half star rating. I, ex I would imagine customers are wanting more of that four. They, I, I would imagine they want a four. Um, I like a three. I don't want to smell a fragrance and I don't want it to hit me in the face when I walk in a room. But I want to smell it as I'm walking through. I want to kind of get, get that in the background. I like to have that just... I just don't want it to hit me in the face. I don't like scents that strong. But some of these were like, my husband was like, I don't smell a thing. We were like, do we have COVID again? What is going on with these? But we can smell everything else. <laughs> it's like, it's not COVID. I can smell, you know, my soap. Uh, so, so I had fun testing and blending and doing all that. That was really fun. I felt it was quite educational for me. I, I felt like I really learned a lot. I feel a lot more comfortable just... Just in the doing of that, I feel more comfortable just trying that. But I'm wondering, and maybe you guys that do custom blends could help me out here. Maybe I should do tried and true scents in my wax as opposed to buying, you know, even though they're one ounce sam samples or testers, as opposed to buying all of these scents I've never tried before, maybe I need to try to blend scents that I know work in my wax and in my situation and whatever. Um, so I think I'm gonna work on that a little bit. Uh, my next go around for testing, I'm not gonna be testing for another month or two. But yeah, I think I might try to pull the fragrance oils that I have that I know that work in my wax, see if there's any blends I can make and see what I can do from there, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a journey of my just trying my blending, custom blends for the first time, and I had so much fun doing that. I'm just, I'm a little, little disheartened with the results. I, I, I will admit, I'm a little disheartened with all of that work and money I put into all those tests. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Why do I get, I just can't stop myself. I, I literally had to stop myself at 11. <laughs> I mean, seriously, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll ever learn. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Comment below. Give me any advice. I am, I am asking for advice because I don't know what I am doing. <laughs> so uh, I will take all that advice I can get, but I've rambled on long enough, so I will see you in the next video.